So the first thing I think when I pick this up is how incredibly lightweight it is. And some people equate light with cheap. And in this case, that is probably true. It does feel a little bit cheap, just like the Galaxy S3. But that's what you get when you get a plastic phone. It is thinner, it is lighter, uh, but compared to the HTC One, it definitely feels a little bit cheaper. Uh, we've got the hyperglaze coating that is doing a pretty good job at deterring fingerprints. We've got the 13 megapixel camera back here. A new texture here. It's not actually a texture, though. So this is completely smooth. We've got this interesting coating, uh, which are these tiny little diamonds, it looks like. Kind of hard to see from this angle, but it's continued around to the front. Really nice detail. We've got a home button that is more square than it was in the last Galaxy S. And up here, we've got the continued pattern. Uh, we've got it. We've got an earphone piece here, we've got a 2 megapixel front facing camera, just a crazy thin, crazy light device. And then we've got the display, a 1920 by 1080 AMOLED display. Have you ever seen an AMOLED display this high resolution? Uh, you probably haven't. What that means is that all of the cool stuff about an AMOLED display, the super deep blacks in super high resolution, this is a gorgeous screen. No human can see pixels on this thing. And we've got a ton of features uh, that Samsung is added. One of them allows you to use both the front camera and the rear camera at the same time. Uh, it's kind of a strange feature that will allow you to include yourself in a picture when you take one. Uh, so if I'm taking a picture of someone over there and Michael's behind the camera, and then you can yeah, yeah, take, some, take some practice. A lot of these features take, take practice. You can move it around, you can resize it, but there is a lot of other stuff that we want to talk about. We've got an octa-core processor here, and Samsung's not talking about that yet because I think they don't want to set people up for disappointment because the US version is likely to have uh, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 600. Uh, very fast performance. We've been flipping around. Everything feels very, very good. Um, and it's funny. We talk about this at Pocket Now all the time that processors and specs don't matter as much because Android is just so good. Let's go into the settings. And what you will notice here is that TouchWiz has not been redone. Maybe in a little, in kind of ways, but we still have the thick bars up here. The blue, uh, the gray, the, the, the very contrasty look and feel. Some people love it. Some people think it's a complete inefficient use of space. We've got the HTC One, uh, which going in a different direction with kind of black on black, kind of an elegant hip more look. So, just an early look at the Galaxy S4. Uh, this is going to be an awesome phone. This is going to be a huge seller. They've added a lot of software features. I think the headline here is the hardware, surprisingly. Uh, it's, it's thinner and lighter than you could really ever possibly imagine. So we're going to have a lot more videos on the Galaxy S4 here at the launch event.